Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about an oldie but a goodie. This is the Pat McGrath uh, Mothership Number no. 1 Subliminal Palette. This is a pretty popular palette in my opinion. I believe this is her cool tone palette and I was um, hesitant to um, get this beauty because I'm not a cool tone lover. I have warm undertones and warm olive undertones so I just um, gravitate towards warmer eyeshadows but part it's what gets me all the time the special shades her special uh, bliss astral formula we're gonna go over these swatches and I'm gonna go over what I did to my eyes today and I'll tell you guys if you should get this palette or not I decided to swatch the regular shades first the six shades um, her matte and satin formulas uh, top six and then um, bliss astral shades later uh, but the first shade is called skin show nude I think this is a repeat shade in her other palettes um, don't quote me on it there are so many names on all of her palettes and I have like almost all of them except two I miss the number four and then the latest one the Utopian palette but I think this is the re uh, a repeated shade this is uh, called skin show nude and it's a gorgeous like inner corner or brow I mean I used it on my brow bows today but this is a gorgeous uh, pearlescent like a champagne sort of color I love colors like this I feel like it is so versatile and then the shade next to it is called depth and this is what I actually used to create my outer corner depth it is a very like smoky grayish brown color and it pulls off very cool tone especially on my skin tone definitely pulls off cool tone and then we have ultimate taupe and this is a great um, transition color or for me all over the lids and if I want to create like a, a light shadow for everyday makeup look this is a perfect color for that I thought that initially looking at it it wouldn't show up on my skin when I swatched it it barely showed up on my skin um, but it is one of those really nice shades to have if you're looking um, to wear this every single day that shade will be perfect and if you are lighter than me I think um, you can use it to smoke out your um, eye makeup look and then going down I have extreme black I think this is also a repeated shade I'm not exactly quite sure but I love um, palettes that have the black eyeshadow it's not like a very deep um black eyeshadow but i feel like you can definitely build this color up and i haven't used it today but this is a great you know black you can't go wrong with it you can smoke out any sort of makeup look and you can use it as a liner if you want to but beautiful And then we have a lilac dusk I thought this was going to be like a very pale sort of um, reflective sort of lilac purple but on my eyes I feel like it pulled a little bit gray I don't know if I'm placing that you know those deeper shades kind of alter the eyeshadow color a little bit um, next time I'm gonna try to use this color on its own and see if it creates a nice pearlescent kind of you know purpley tone on my eyes but on my um, eyes right now it just pulls a very very grayish cool tone so <laughs> um, I thought I was gonna love this shade but I think it's it's okay it's just 
a little bit deep for my liking and then we have substance uh, this is a nice brown it's like a great you know if you want one and done eyeshadow i think this is a great one too i haven't used it i want to use it next time but this is like a great everyday sort of brown color but i feel like on my eyes it will still pull a little bit dark dark crunchy um like brownie gray but yeah it reminds me of sans hope from um mac but i don't know it's a really pretty shade and all of these swatched really nicely very smooth um some of the matte shades of course it skips a little bit um that's because i'm like lightly swirling my finger in all these um shadows i am a very soft user so i'm just very careful when it comes to swatching eyeshadows and i have long nails so i don't want to dig my um nails and eyeshadows which i have done before so many eyeshadow palettes and so now we are getting into the interesting shades the first one is called pale gold double zero two and i use this in my inner corners uh tear duct today and this is a gorgeous gorgeous shade it's just like it can brighten up an entire room just with this shade alone and it's a beautiful like it's like gold but then not pearly and then champagne at the same time it's just like you know there's so much lights and sparkles happening in this shade it's beautiful and then the next shade is called vr violet this is a very interesting shade i don't know if this is a dual chrome it looks like a dual chrome um it looks like it has like a, a green shift in there green and pink very beautiful this is like one of my favorite shades within this palette i thought i would love the blue but that shade right there wow beautiful and then we have blitz blue and of course this is like the star of the palette if you cover this this is like a boring <laughs> neutral palette but because you have this pop of blue it just makes the palette more interesting and it's a very deep navy blue and it pulls uh pretty dark actually on my lids as well i like you can really see that navy blue um beautiful i not into color but when it comes to um, blue and eyeshadows i'm like all about that life so this is beautiful and the last but not least we have i believe this is a topo shade um astral white um it has a very interesting texture when you um swirl your fingers around it um yeah i think this is a topo shade but this is a gorgeous like multi uh, multi chrome shade and i feel like putting it on my lips but i don't want to go too crazy with my look so this color is just like on the mirror it looks like a, a baby blue shade it just picks up so many lights around it it's just like a, a, sh a shape shifting <laughs> shade it's just beautiful so let's go over what I did to my eye makeup look today, I kept it really, really simple. And I think this is going to be a good everyday kind of palette and especially for nighttime as well. I think it's appropriate. So first I went in with um, Ultimate Taupe all over my lids. It's just like a wash of color, just creating that um, like a shadow effect on my eyes to create depth. And then <laughs> I went in with the deeper brown which is called depth to create that outer corner smoky kind of eye look and i just took my time blending out that shade with my refer um number two brush i believe and it's just you know refer brushes are amazing um and then i went in with my lid shade which is the lilac dusk and i thought i was gonna create a light lavender sort of look but it just pulls a very gray and cool tone on my eyes um i kind of don't mind it but i wish that it was a little bit brighter 
And then for my inner tear duct, as I have mentioned, I went in with Pale Gold um, 002. And just help brightens up my eye makeup look so much. I decided to use Skin Show Nude for my brow ball highlight. Don't really like it. I wish that they had a pale kind of like a nude color, but this is just too shimmery for me. But nonetheless, I don't really mind it if you, you know, blend it out nicely. I think it's not it's not terrible. And of course, I want to be a little bit extra. I went in with Blitz of Blue on the bottom lash line. And then to be a little bit more extra, I went in with VR Violet just on top of it just to see um, what, you know, the effects that it gives. I think it works as a topper. It's just lighten up that blue shade a little bit more. It just makes it brighter. So um, I actually really like how it turned out. I am surprised by how much I like this palette now i'm not again a cool toned um eye shadow makeup lover so anything i mean i don't have anything like this in my makeup collection for sure i don't gravitate towards cool tone eyeshadows at all or anything cool toned in general because i have warm olive skin tone so i thought that initially that this palette wouldn't work for me but having a chance to play with it today my mind is totally <laughs> changed and i would recommend this palette to you guys even if you don't like cool tone eyeshadow palettes i think this is a unique one to have in your makeup collection i can see myself picking up this palette for every single day kind of like an everyday makeup palette um, if you don't use the Bliss Astro shades, this is a great everyday palette. And then um, use these Bliss Astro shades if you um, want to do a nighttime look. But I have nothing negative to say about the Path McGrath um, eyeshadow formula or her color stories is just very very unique to me anyways i hope you guys enjoy this video um if you have this palette in your collection already let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you haven't um gotten this palette um or if you're if you're a pat mcgrath lover and you refuse to buy this um Mothership number one palette. Let me know the reasons why as well in the comments down below. Um, if you are new to my channel, I am Shu and I am very slow when it comes to purchasing any new makeup releases. I'm just waiting for, you know, a sale. Um, just keep in mind that makeup does expire, so I don't know how people. You know keep purchasing new items every single year it's just like it's crazy to me i have so many makeup palettes and everything to go through so i shouldn't be buying more any new items but um because i have a makeup channel i'm giving myself reasons to buy it but i really shouldn't so anyways i am just rambling at this point i hope you guys enjoy my review um, but in any case, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah. <laughs>